हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू डी कप टारो माय नेम इज रेया एंड इन टुडेस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग बी टेकिंग अ लुक एट व्हाट इज डेस्टिन्ड फॉर यू इन द अपकमिंग फ्यू मंथ्स ऑल राइट सो ऑफ कोर्स एज ऑलवेज यू हैव थ्री पार्ट्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू प्लीज मेक श्योर टू पिक वन दैट रियली स्पीक्स टू यू एंड एज रिक्वेस्टेड आई हैव ब्रॉड ब्लैक द प्लेट्स and you can pick according to the plate of course or the feathers or the images and of course if all of the piles are call out to you it's okay you know you can just listen to messages from all three piles it just means that you need more okay more than what one pile can offer you take your time we start with pile 1 Hello and if you've selected pile 1 let's take a look at what is destined for you of course i'm also going to be shuffling on camera with around 5 6 decks so stay tuned especially towards the end uh, first of all in your case you know pile 1 i feel like you know the things that were stuck if you in your life right now you know you feel like things are not moving or things are not moving out as you wanted it to be it's like things are going to change and you'll already see the signs of things coming to life right at the beginning you know things will not make sense for you it's like you know things are hazy you don't know what is in front of you but that time you just have to take that one step that one step that will take you out of that stagnation and that is enough okay because that's in store for you you're just coming out of a uh, maybe a crazy time in your life is what i'm sensing and as you take that one step you know your confidence will grow and that is all we need to do right now to make sure that you get back to your confidence to make sure that you know you're ready to hold the sword in your hand once again to fight the beautiful fight yeah so right now you just have to make sure that whatever you do that first step you take it with confidence that is all that is expected for you in the upcoming time remember this don't be stagnant Okay don't be like I'm not going to do this at all you have to be doing something even if this is a minor thing do it look okay? action on your part is necessary the rest will be taken care of is the message coming through because you know if a person is stagnant the things around them will always always be stagnant but even that one action will create a ripple effect yeah that's something that you need to know i'm also going to be giving you your tarot you have seven of wands you have queen of swords three of wands four of pentacles and you have the nine of cups so in your life you know in the upcoming time you may feel like you know you're cornered or you are the only person who sort of has to fight a battle and you've nobody to help you out like you'll feel like a lone warrior but that's okay you know it's okay to be a lone warrior because i tell you this pile one you know your mind especially at this point is especially sharp whatever decisions you'll take whatever actions you'll take they'll be right for you and that is all that is necessary see the way i see this you know your ships are coming your opportunities are coming you just have to get on the ship and move that movement is necessary once again that action is necessary on your part See in the upcoming time you know you will feel like I've already done so much I've accomplished so much you're completely sitting on some kind of accomplishment and you don't want to move maybe you're too tired of that movement but if you push your comfort zone right now if you just go beyond what is expected of you you'll be where you're supposed to be where you'll get your ultimate wish fulfilled in your life because you're very very close to achieving your goal is what I'm getting here You know a couple of you will be like Rhea I don't know what you're talking about because I don't see myself hitting my goal but just believe you know sometimes it's that belief on your part which can completely change your story because see changes are coming and the wind is strong you may feel like you're not capable to withstand that wind but trust me you are and if there's anybody who's born to do this it's you because change is on the card see may you flow with the divine magic it's a magical time for you it's in a way you know you're tested you're tested with regards to something just believe in that magic magic of who you are and you'll be fine i'm also going to be shuffling cards on camera just to get a couple of answers for you and of course baba's message is coming towards the end 
I am going to take this. Accept heaven's help. You have prayed for help. So get out of the way and let heaven help you. So whatever things that you have prayed for in your life, you know, they are coming. And especially help is coming towards you. So just take that help. Accept that help. Okay, because help will take you bless change once again. A major life change brings you great blessings. So if you are sort of, you know, experiencing that change in your life, if you feel like, you know, oh, wow, this is really changing. And I don't know if I want to go there, go that way. Because whatever the change is, it's going to be blessed in your case. Let's see what's more. Okay, to be fair. Now, you may want to sort of weigh certain pros and actions when it comes to something and be fair, be honest, be just. So when you're giving out some kind of treatment to somebody, you know, ask yourself, is it really fair? And that's something that you need to ask and why? For some of you, you know, you may be asking yourself why did this happen? Why this is happening? But ask that why. Because that why will take you to all of your answers. Maybe it will take you to the book that has all the answers in it. But you will get the answers that you need. Is what I'm really getting here. Chop wood. In the meantime, you know, you should just carry on with things that you can take care of. Okay, just take care of your daily life. Stick to a routine preferably. Because I feel like that routine will help you a lot. Yeah. Be, lead a disciplined life, get up at a particular time, whatever needs to be done, it has to have timing to it. Okay, I feel like I need this. Identify change. Now, first of all, you know, change is definitely coming in your direction and that is an external change. But you yourself have to identify one area every day where you have to make change. And as you make changes there, you know, you'll feel like eventually all the pieces are like solved, like a big puzzle in your life. Okay, wow. Reflect on pride and ego. Now, there is a possibility when it comes to certain areas of your life, you know, you're acting out of pride or you're acting out of ego. I'll read this out. Acknowledge that negative pride causes more harm and suffering to relationships and to the overall life that you, that can be measured. Notice where you're losing your power because of fake pride and recognize that it's a poison to your spirit and thus to your healing. Your goal to reflect on matters of pride and ego. So you have to ask yourself, you know, where in my life am I, you know? Holding on to ego. Release the need to complain. So if you're like complaining all the time, then, you know, maybe that needs to be addressed. So, you know, look at this image. It's so beautiful. These are complaints. And as you let go of those complaints, you'll come back to, you know, that real self, that authentic, pure self that you truly, truly are. Yeah. Let's take a look at more. Let me know if you enjoy this pattern of me pulling cards as I go, you know, other than that fixed setup. Commitment. Okay. Now, in the upcoming time, I feel like you're going to be committed to something. And commitment to something will take you a long way. For some, this could uh, actually be like a romantic commitment. This could actually be, you know, some kind of commitment. I feel like you need to make it and then stick to it. Reflection. Reflection is necessary in your case. Maybe you're not reflecting and you're just acting out. Yeah, just reflect. You need to calm your mind. That calmness will help you a great deal right now. Pile one. More than, you know, too much thinking. Akashic library. See, I feel like, you know, there is certain information right now that you don't have. And you have to either study about it or wait for it to come to you. You know, pick up a book, any book for that matter, a book of wisdom and you'll find the answers that you need. But reading right now is very helpful. See, sometimes you can just pick up a self-help book and it can just give you all the answers that you need. Let's see. Now is the time for deep emotional healing. So maybe what is necessary for you right now, you know, along with reflection is reflecting on what needs healing. Because there is a certain part of you that is like not healed and probably you need a time out to heal and then start a new chapter again. Yeah. So identify one area of change and change that. That's enough for you right now. 
stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve so it starts with yourself treating yourself with the respect that you know you know you deserve uh, i'm going to take this card you know once again others are like cornering her and she's like still standing tall in spite of like people wanting her to bend she's like no this is my battle i'm going to fight it so that is a mindset that you need to have as you move ahead i'm also going to take messages from baba let's see what baba has to say spiritual growth see everything that is happening in your life you know i feel like it is for your own spiritual growth because this phase needed to happen the way it did whatever is happening in your life you know this could be your career this could be a personal life it's all a lesson in spiritual growth be a lighthouse see at this point of time you know if you feel dark in your own life remember to bring a light to somebody else's life do something good for somebody be there for somebody you know be just a good person you know that is enough live your dharma see all you need to do is you need to do the right thing your dharma your duty even taking care of basic duties right now for you that will be enough yeah do the right thing once again with the justice card do the right thing be fair that's what is necessary equality treat people equally so baba is also here to tell you you know if you want to solve a lot of problems in your life uh, maybe start with treating people equally i know a lot of you may already be doing it but just it's a lesson you know when you treat somebody as less it will come back to you and life will treat you as if you're nothing so you know what you give out you get back that's a lesson baba oh wow a uh, plenty of material things i love when this happens so materially i feel like you're going to be blessed so if there's somebody who is like worrying about money don't and it's the only tea leaf card so you guys are the lucky ones removing hurdles baba will remove hurdles and make your path smoother so i really want to end this video here with this message of hope so if in your life you find hurdles right now remember baba is going to be there for you and help you remove those hurdles so that you can you know proceed really really properly remember this whatever you are going through at the end of this you have your wish fulfillment so right now your job is not to give up and do the best you can take that first step with confidence that is the only thing that you need to do and release complaints the more you complain the more you will have reason to complain so in a reflection and healing is what is necessary for you right now i leave you here with nothing but my blessings and lot of love for you and lot of prayers i will see you next time bye hello and if you've selected pal too then these are the messages that you need to receive for your upcoming time what's destined let's take a look in the upcoming time pal too i feel like you know you emerging into your authentic self like all the facade that was around you everything that was built up that was false is falling off and you yourself maybe for the first time are asking your question who am i who am i really and that question will lead to an exploration in the upcoming couple of months yeah because all the masks are coming off for you and you you slowly walking towards your destiny pile two that's what's coming through because of which you know it's like layers and layers are stripped of you and chances are right now you may feel like you don't understand what is happening in your life pile two you know but it's like you know one cycle is ended and you're entering into a new cycle but to enter that new cycle you need courage and somewhere maybe you feel like you are not equipped with things or you're not enough but that is the greatest mistake because you pile two are enough and you just have to have the courage to walk into things once again so hold up your high head eye and move into the direction of your dreams and the most important lesson that you need to sort of perfect in the upcoming months is the lesson of love whatever you do do it with love whatever you take up 
take it with love. Your intention has to be love. Because you know, everything else is just a facade. You should be the person that you love. If you're just becoming something for somebody or just to please somebody, it's it's not okay. Whatever you want to become, be it with love. That's what's important. Okay. Now, the reason why I wanted to take up is because in your cards, the tower is showing up. So this really tells me that all of your life that was unauthentic, it's like shattered. Okay. Maybe with this, you may feel like you're being wronged to a great level, but that's not the case. See, when a tower collapses, it's because, you know, a new and stronger building needs to take its place. And chances are, you know, in the upcoming time, you're probably feeling like you're left out or why is this happening? What is happening? There is a higher purpose to this. Yeah. So don't look at what is wrong in your life right now. Look at what you're heading into. And I'll tell you consciously, you know, you knew certain things could not last for a very long time and you yourself are moving away from it. And you, as you move away from some things, you're actually moving into what is more aligned to you and your future life. Because whatever it is that you're going to be building up now, you're going to be building up with your authentic self. You're going to be probably doing things you love or doing things that you totally love. Chances are for a couple of you, you will walk away from jobs, you will walk away from relationships or you will walk away from whatever you feel is not right for you and your life and you're done. Yeah. And you're done with certain parts of your story because of which, you know, it's like blowing things up big time. And whatever is coming in that is new is very, very promising. I'll tell you this pile too. So don't so much worry about what you've lost. Worry about, you know, what can I build? Actually, don't worry. Just be happy about it. So for a couple of you, this could actually mean leaving a relationship that was familiar and moving towards something that is like not familiar. You could be starting college, you could be starting university, you could be starting a new job. This could play out in many, many ways. But whatever area that is playing out in your life, it is making you real, as real as you can be. And look at this. Hope is on the horizon. So don't think so much about, you know, oh, wow, the tower is collapsing. No, it's actually to give you hope that something better is on the horizon because clearly something is and you're too busy looking back. Yeah. And there's also mending happening in your life. Mending of relationships can also take place right now, especially the relationships that you really, really hold close to yourself. Like the people you love, you're going to be mending your relationships with them. Yeah. And because of which, you know, you have a lot of hope for your future. So whatever is happening, it is for a good reason and for a good purpose. So that you can actually be who you are meant to be. Big dreams. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. So right now, you know, chances are that whatever you were hoping for, it was too small for you. And now, you know, Life is giving you a chance to dream. So my dear, dear sleeping beauty, what do you want for yourself? Yeah. Or Prince Charming who's sleeping, depending on who you are watching me. So let go of those small thoughts, you know, and aim for beautiful things, bigger things and things that bring you joy. Protection. Remember, you and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. So if you feel like, you know, you're not sure, you're not protected, that's that's a lie. You're very, very protected and you're very loved. Yeah, nothing can ever harm you. Break free. Exactly. You know, this tower is actually a blessing in your life because now you can break free from anything that you don't feel aligned with. And try different things, try different ventures, try different experiences because, you know, you need to grow. And that is why this is happening. Yeah. Growth is expected from this cycle, this new cycle, especially. Yeah. So try different things. Experiment because that is the time. Blessed. So this is a blessing and you will come to see exactly why in your life. Time to go. Yeah. It's like, you know, a higher destiny is calling to you and you just have to run towards it. Yeah, just just keep running 
you know, you're going to end up exactly where you're supposed to be. And you'll feel like, wow, I am so blessed. New life. See, this is old. This had to go. This couldn't stay for a long time because a new life is ready to take its place. And peace. You just have to make peace with whatever is happening in your life. Okay. You just have to make peace. See, you don't have to understand it. I'm not telling you understand what is happening or understand what is yet to happen in your life. Just be at peace with it. And whatever you do, do it with hope. Visualize a healthy body and mind. So you also need to take care of your body. Okay, pal two. You also have to take care of your mind. Maybe whatever this is, this has affected you a great deal. But remember, this happened for a reason. Now focus on your body, focus on your mind, because that health is very important for you and for your new life. Because remember, blessing is promised. Change direction. Okay. Life is telling you whatever you're doing or whichever way in which you are doing things that was taking you in a wrong direction. And the direction that you're going into right now is actually going to be right. See God in all things. See, as I mentioned to you in the very beginning, you know, whatever is happening, it is destined, it is written by God. And if God is telling you, change your direction, it is because that is the right thing for you and your life right now. Yeah. Let's see. I'll tell you this, you know, whatever life you were living so far, it's almost like you were faking it. Yeah. And now whatever you embrace, you'll embrace it with greatness. Wish is fulfilled. See, you're, you're actually going in the right direction. It's like your wish is coming true. In a weird way, and you may not feel happy with it, with the way it has happened, but it's actually taking you to what you've always wanted. Yeah. So I'll also tell you, you know, you have a lot of spirit guides helping you in the process. Lot of spirit guides. Your ancestors are also helping you to move forward and to just go into a life that you are destined to live. Yeah. See, the thing with you is, you know, you are just fighting battles. And you're fighting battles unnecessarily. Yeah. So what you need to do is ask yourself, why am I just, you know, pushing in the wrong direction? When my direction is so clear to me, it is the direction that God has written for you. So go in that direction and go with love. Oh, wow. You have to. Architect. Building a life for something. Yeah. And sands of time. See, when it comes to, you know, it's like, Whatever you're doing, the time is up for doing that. And now it's like, you know, you are the architect of your life. Yeah. And as an architect, you're supposed to be building up fresh plans and making a building once again. In a way, you know, it's also divinely timed. Whatever happened was happened for a particular reason because you were supposed to be changing your direction. So then whatever you do now, you'll do it more authentically. And because you are the architect, you will feel like you're in control. And then what stands will be extraordinary in your case. Let's see. Take some time of out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. You need to spend time with yourself. Yeah. You have to be in isolation to just heal, to pursue a hobby and to just be at peace. You're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. See, your energies are all over the place right now. Chances are your emotions are also all over the place right now. And you need to now get all of those fragmented energies together. Because once you get together, nothing can defeat you. That's what I'll tell you. Because it will be your choice, right? Peacock. Let yourself stand out and be noticed. And I'm going to tell you this. This is like such a coincidence. I actually had a peacock feather right at my desk. And somehow I feel like it was supposed to be there. It's teaching you something. That whatever your destiny is, you know, it's very different. So don't expect it to sort of fit into everybody's scheme of things. Yeah. Such a beautiful coincidence. And you've chosen this color too. 
it's so so beautiful yeah i'll give you messages from baba spiritual teacher baba gives his devotees what they want in the hope that they will begin to want what he wants to give them so i feel like you have a spiritual teacher in your life who's taking you along yeah your teacher is like with you the world is your home be happy wherever you are so wherever you find yourself in life you know don't be like why did this happen things are going wrong they're not happening according to my will it is because when divine will comes your will doesn't matter and that is what is happening for you right now your mind is tremendous power surrender it to baba and let him direct it your mind is very powerful but maybe you just you just don't know how to channel it yet yeah and okay you have two and i feel like it's an interconnected message forgiveness forgiveness is very very essential you forgiving others you asking for forgiveness from others forgiveness that is the lesson you're supposed to learn and balance the thing with you is right now because of certain experiences that have you've had in your life you know i feel like you're out of balance somewhere and that balance has to return and it takes time you know i feel like you need to spend more time in solitude because in solitude you know it's like all those fragmented parts of yourself that we were talking about here they'll come into alignment yeah so that is what you need to do you need to get all of your parts together so that they function as one whole and then you'll be ready for that forward journey because remember this you know you're starting a new process and you are about to start a new life yeah and that life is actually going to be good for you but maybe you don't see it right now i really want that card so sorry for messing it up yeah see this is what is coming towards you so don't so much worry about what happened focus on what is yet to come and what you can build because that is going to be better i promise you that yeah i'll leave you here with my best wishes i will see you next time bye Hello everyone and if you have selected pile 3 then these are the messages that you need to receive wherever you are let's take a look okay in your case pile 3 you know i feel like right now the phase of life that you are in it may be just time for you to wait it's time for you to rest it's time for you to rejuvenate it's time for you to indulge in as much self care as you want you know because whatever dreams you have it's like you've planted the seed and you just have to wait for the spring to come so that your dreams may come true so if you are sort of experiencing that waiting period it's for your own benefit and at this point of time you know i feel like there's not much you can do so right now just surrender have your intentions in place if you are into affirmations absolutely do that but after a point of time just surrender because i feel like there is a divine play at hand and nothing you can do will sort of affect things you've done your job that is what i'm really getting here however there may be certain things that you need to release like certain chapters may be over and you need to let those go maybe at some level you know you're holding on to things too tightly and as you release the grip on things you know the old leaves will shed and new leaves will take its place so once again as i said you know wait for spring so i feel like in your life you know post april onwards things will sort of come to life and they'll come to life beautifully so right now just do the best you can and relax okay i'll give you your tarot as well i'm going to pick out from around you know four to five decks so you may want to hang on to that okay see okay right now you know in your life i feel like in some areas you may feel like you're trapped but these are not external traps these are traps that you've set for your own life and if you just make one slight move you will be out of it yeah that's what i'm getting here but things will get better as you proceed because you have support in your life and especially you know you need to concentrate on your work right now so your career should be an area we have to pay a lot of attention in because that is the 
place where you'll be able to make the ma maximum of it. You'll be able to benefit a lot and great deal. See, I also feel like, you know, financially in the upcoming time, you'll be coming into a lot of money. Like money will be a strong point for you and your career is going to be a strong point for you. We will not only have enough for yourself, but you'll also have like enough to help somebody else out. I also see in the upcoming time, you making fresh plans. Yeah, there are a lot of things that you already want to do, but you feel like, you know, it's not the right time. And you are right. It's not the right time. If you are sort of having any ideas in place, you know, wait till April. Yeah, because April onwards, things will sort of change for you. Then you can really proceed to the action. So right now, if you're feeling tied up, little changes here and there will sort of help you get out of it. Because more than not, this is like you doing this to yourself. So if you're sort of experiencing anxiety, you'll be able to deal with it. Yeah, ease. See, somewhere, you know, I feel like you're trying too hard when you really don't have to. Just do what is easy for you. Easy does it. Easy does it. Effortlessness. Whatever comes to you effortlessly, do it. Yeah, whatever comes effortlessly, you just have to do it. And that will do for now. Because the reason why you have this, you know, gestation period is because you're being prepared for a greater adventure. There is a lot that you need to do in the future. And right now, it's almost like, you know, it's a preparatory ground for you. You're being prepared for something. Yeah, you're a soldier. You're a long term player. That is what I see. Let's take a look at some clarifiers. Explore your options. It's, a, it's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. So as I mentioned, you know, right now in the gestation period, you can look at your options. Yeah. And whatever minor changes you can make, you can do that. But best explore and act on things after April. Yeah. Little changes here and there. That's what I'm going to do. Whatever you find is easiest. Okay. That's the best thing to do. And empowerment. You are more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. So if at this point, you know, you feel like you're powerless, you have nothing to do. You are actually powerful and it's okay for you to feel powerful. There's nothing wrong with it. Just don't go into that ego zone, okay? Because that's where things go wrong. Healing heart. You're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. So in a way, you know, you guys are powerful healers. So in your own healing process to others, I feel like right now what has happened, you know, you don't have enough to give. You don't have enough to give and which is why you almost have to recharge your batteries at this point. That is the only job that you need to do. Yeah, but you've done a great job already. Observer. See, as I told you, you know, just explore your options right now. Right now, you're just the observer. Yeah, you're just the observer. So observe things. See what is happening in your life around you. Observe and take a nap. Deep knowing. See, instinctively, I will not be surprised if half of you will be like, you know, oh, Rhea, but this is something we already were feeling. This is something we were already sensing that it is a time for release and we just have to wait because you have that. You're gifted with that deep knowing, you know, you already have it. That's what I feel. Loyal heart. See, in your life, you know, I feel like you yourself are a very loyal person. Like when you stick to somebody, you stick to them and nothing makes you change your mind. But there's also somebody else in your life who's equally loyal to you. It's like, you know, it's like we belong together kind of a story. So I feel like there's a connection in your life which is like very, very loving, very caring. And it's an equal give and take. Come to an edge. See, when the time comes for you to take that leap, you have to take that leap. Till that time, you know, it's okay to go slow. That's what I'm getting. But you're preparing for something. I feel like something big is coming into your life. And breathe. Yeah. So right now, it's time for you to breathe. It's time for you to take it easy. I feel like there's a bigger picture waiting to unfold in your life. Okay, I'm going to Let's see. 
choose to heal see all of this messages are really aligned towards healing see what may have happened you know because you heal other people so much like you give so much right now it's like you know you're almost running on an empty cup you're like wow i can't do this anymore but this is exactly the point where you just have to empower yourself see right now what i see in your life you know you may have in some cases reached a rock bottom okay it's like a rock bottom and you feel like that's it i can never stand but that is when you have to remind yourself of your own power you have to compliment yourself and see how far you've come in your life yeah because you have to be your own best friend right now don't wait for somebody to come and tell you how good you are build yourself up heal yourself breathe yeah get into breathing routines get into an exercise routine eat well face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious so there is a possibility when it comes to you know you're not dealing with your problems you're just choosing to hide from your problems but if you find that confidence in yourself if you can tackle your problems head on then you know you'll emerge victorious but take your time i'm not telling you you have to face your problems today when you are ready see every person's healing capacity is different and every person knows like when you've hit rock bottom you know it's real it's real because ask me i've hit it so many times that i cannot even count right now so when you're ready you come up you know that's that's how it is you're too enmeshed in the situation so step back and see the bigger picture before you make any decisions or take action so exactly you know at this point you have to observe observe that is all that you need to do yeah observe because you're too close to things oh these came out i'm really going to take them oh yeah why not see the thing with you is right now you know whatever is happening it is your karma for some i see you guys going through lot of troubles and for some it is like easier times coming like the worst is over is what i'm can tell you the heaviest price has been paid and things can only get better but whatever is wrong in your life it is because of karma and if you're like in the gestation period see the thing with saturn you know because saturn is all about karma aspect it delays certain things but remember delays are not denials from god so you're not being denied of anything you're delayed of things and ego see for a couple of you you know ego may have played a big part or is playing a big part in your life yeah so try and work on your ego aspect a little bit because as you take care of your ego see i feel like you know you guys need to watch file 1 as well because your readings are very interconnected see let go release what did we have as we just started off the reading release the lessons that have been complete the cycles that have been complete you need to let it go yeah you're just holding on too tightly and because you're holding on to too tightly you're not seeing the possibilities of the future so let go of what is so that what can be can come in and surrender oh my god look at that wow then we just have that surrender so baba is telling you the exact thing let go surrender so that the new can come in yeah and easy take it easy you don't have to force yourself you're being healed right now and prepared for the onward journey easy does it my friends solution there shall be light a solution to your problem is at hand so the thing is whatever problems you're facing you know you're very close to having a solution for it i recognize the reality behind mask so there is a possibility you know what you're seeing and what actually is are actually two different things okay so you just maybe you don't have all the answers right now but they'll come to you just don't try hard see on the other side of whatever you're facing lies a miracle that is what i'll tell you you just have to look out for the tiny miracles in your life because as you start to notice these miracles you know you'll see that you're actually being led in the direction of a bigger miracle yeah so wait for those miracles maybe that miracle for that to happen there is a little bit of time period so let it happen let the saturn phase pass that's what i'll tell you 
because whatever your problem is the solution is close at hand and somewhere you know the solution but maybe you're not seeing things clearly which is why just release the past thank it release it let it go with ease because it's like a new dawn waiting to come in yeah but overall that is what i have for you pile three and as i wrap this up i'm going to leave you with my best wishes i will see you next time bye